Can you tell me a bit about the the brand of yours, uh, the Average Man? Uh, I can. The Average Man, I um, I came up through my own life. It's um, it's probably something that's been on my heart for a long, long time, but I've only been brave enough to do something about it um, probably about a year ago that I really started seriously thinking what I can do about it. Um, and about six months ago, I started acting on that and started producing a couple of small videos over the Facebook page as well. But the branding of the average man, I wanted to see the average guy, the everyday man, start to reach their potential. You know, when I was um, definitely working in some of these trades, I had a um, real sort of privilege, I guess. I was a lot of the time in either minor management or middle management roles, so I was looking after crews. And um, a lot of good guys there, a lot of really good guys. But you can just see how broken they were with life. Um, and you can, I, I could see the potential that was in them. And I found it frustrating that even though I loved having them on my crew because a lot of them were really good workers and they were great guys to have around for uh, morale, but I could see they didn't want to be there. They, Their heart wasn't there. And as I got to know them, you know, they'd tell me stuff about their families. And a few of the times they'd tell me about their dreams and goals, um, which which is a little bit special, I guess, that that sort of stuff gets shared. Um, and I tried to encourage them to actually follow that. Um, some of the guys did, and it was a bit of a buzz to know that I've actually had an influence on encouraging that. And some of them went off and did what they love to do. But honestly, most of them didn't. Most of them didn't, and I think where my heart really sort of started to bleed for them was probably the number one thing that they'd tell me was um, they needed their wage because they had to look after their family and pay their mortgage, um, and that was me. That was the excuse that kept me in um, probably a mundane life for 30 years, and I kept that excuse alive, even though I was trying to change these guys' lives. Um I was doing nothing for myself, nothing to actually improve it. So I was saying it, but definitely wasn't living it. So there's no surprise that only a few of the guys actually um, took up chasing their dreams. Um, until just recently, I saw the importance of actually living what's coming out of my mouth. So my heart really is to see the everyday guy um, reach his potential um, you know, and be that champion for his for his family, for his kids, and for the people around him to actually stand up and be someone who inspires people around. And I think we we all have that. We all have uh, a lot of the time we don't recognise it, which is which is unfortunate and really sad. Um, but we all have that inside us. And I think as the years have gone on. Um, probably, you know, I guess the battle of the sexes or whatever you want to call it, things have plateaued out. It's evened out. So men who used to be, you know, the the, the rough tumble guy who used to go out and do the hunting and bring back the, um, the meat for the meal and stuff like that has been watered down. And I guess, guys, just a lot of us just feel, well, we just need to go to work and we need to make sure that we, we keep our house or we look after our family or um, you know, do what we have to do on a daily basis and just suck it up. Um, and at that cost, it costs us our, um, our dreams, our desires, a bit of our purpose. Um, and I just think a fuller, better life for these guys could be had, you know, if they, um, if they start chasing what's on their heart. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night, I raise my hand.